Functions of histamine would include vasodilation, increase in permeability, and also smooth muscle contraction, which would cause bronchoconstriction and eventual bronchospasm. Also, at the same time, it also increases glandular secretion. But that's not em- enough. Histamine was only a primary uh, mediator, primary preformed mediator. Secondary mediators are synthesized by induction of the transcription. These include different cytokines such as interleukin 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, macrophage inducing factor, aotoxins. These are essential. Aotoxins are interleukin 3 and 5, which works as chemotactic agents for eosinophils. And macrophage inducing factor are kind of like uh, chemotactic agents for macrophages. There will also be increased function of phospholipase A2, which will increase the activity of arachidonic acid, which will start to cleave into its derivatives from the lipooxygenase pathways, such as leukotriene C, D, E, 4, which are together called SRSA, slow reacting substances of anaphylaxis. These are working essentially like histamine, but they are much, much stronger, approximately 5,000 times stronger. And all of this will eventually induce wheezing. Wheezing is a whistling sound upon expiration. You probably heard it whenever you saw someone that had asthma. There will be an increased production of platelet-activating factor, which does all of these functions altogether. If there would be parasitic infection, the eosinophils play a major role in because they have certain proteins that defend you against it. These include eosinophilic cationic protein and major basic protein, which are very lethal to parasites. And the rest of the the rest of type 1 hypersensitivity will be discussed in second video. Thank you.